Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is find all duplicates in an array. Given an array of integers, 1 through n, n equaling the size of array, some element, elements appear twice and others appear once. Find all elements that appear twice in this array. And could you do it without extra space and in O of n runtime? So immediately, knowing that we want to do this in O of n runtime, we can't sort the array. And we want to do this without extra space, but let's start with considering if we don't care about that. Because if we don't care about extra space, that's pretty easy. We can just use a counter object to do that, right? Um, create a counter object using the nums, and that's gonna give us the, the element and the number of times that it appears. So for kv in this counter dictionary, we could just say, well, if the value is greater than one, then Add it to this list. So put that list there and we can just return this. This would be a one-liner uh, using the counter object and that should work. Let's, oh, I think I made a typo there. My fault. Uh, return that. So that would be pretty simple. But obviously we, won't, we don't want to do that because we want to do this without extra space. So how can we do that? Well, there's a couple big hints here. First, the numbers are between the range of one through n, which is the size of the array. So knowing that, we know that we could use the number itself as the index point uh, at this array. So how about we go through this array, and each time we see this number four, we'll mark the number uh, that's on that element. So somehow we'll mark it and at any point if we see the number four again and we check this number and it's marked, we know that element has appeared twice. But how can we manipulate this array without um, changing the number itself? Well, there's not really a good way, but we know that the numbers are between one through n. So how about if we just make it a negative? So for when we check four, we'll first check index four and we'll make it that a negative. Uh, and we'll just go through and if four appears again and we check this and we see that this number here is a negative, then we know that number has appeared twice. Um, and luckily we can just use the absolute value of this number uh, to check the index numbers and that's not gonna mess up anything. So that is a pretty clever method of doing this. We could do that. Let's start with initializing our output. Uh, that's just going to be a list. And what we'll do is say for n in nums, we will first find the ab absolute value of the n in case it's a negative, right? And what we'll do is check if nums, and we'll say m minus 1 because it's 0 indexed. If it's less than 0, that means we've marked this before from some previous point. So this has to have appeared twice. Right, so if that's the case, we'll append to our output the nums m minus one, or actually we'll just append the m because that's gonna be the absolute value. Otherwise, we want to mark this point that we've seen before. So what we'll do is just multiply it by negative one. Finally, return the output. Let's see if this works. This would be using no extra space um, and it's done in linear time. So that does get accepted. And I think this is the best solution. There are other ways to, you know, swapping uh, certain points or, or um, you know, initially I thought maybe we could use bitwise, but the problem with using bitwise operators is we want to find every single number that appears twice. It's not like there's only one number that appears twice. So we can't really do that. Um, like we could get a max number of all the numbers combined, but then we have the problem of, trying to figure out what the numbers initially were. So that wouldn't work. So this works. Uh, I think this is the best solution. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.